What's good out there, Team J3? Your boy is back in the building. I have something special for you guys today. I will be doing an unboxing of a pair of Air Jordan Retro 4, the Pure Monies. If you follow me on Twitter, you already knew that. So I recommend you guys follow me on Twitter because that's why we put in latest posts and pictures and all kind of stuff like that about me, myself, J3. But before we get into this unboxing of these beautiful shoes, I want to clear some things up. I am not a sneakerhead. That's not my thing. I buy shoes because I want them. I like them. I'm not, I don't expect me to do this every week, every time a pair of Jordans come out, a pair of Adidas, Reeboks, no, 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 that's not my thing. I just buy shoes casually because I like them. And if I feel like they're worth unboxing, I will unboxing on J3 Entertainment. Now that's, since that's been said, let's get into this thing. Uh, the reason I bought these is because I wanted to be fresh for the premiere of Wonder Woman. So I was like, I need some shoes. I need some shoes. And I wanted to get the uh I wanted to get some red and white shoes, but I couldn't find any. So the pure monies came out before June 2nd. I'm happy. So here we go. I went down. This is there's a spot up in here in LA called Shoe Palace. I went to Shoe Palace and got these epic shoes right here, y'all. These are Air Jordan uh four retros. Check this out. This is the box, guys. Look how it looks. This is like a nice box with the stone gravel on the side like that. You know how they, you know how they do it. it smells beautiful, y'all. Look at that size nine. That's my size, y'all. Y'all didn't know that. It's so fresh. Look, you even got the plastic on that piece. Like, fresh out the box, y'all. All right, so here we go. Let's get into this thing, guys. Oh, this smells good. These shoes are uh, at price of at $190. Um, so they're pretty costly, guys. You know what I mean? Uh, but I, I, you know, I have some money, some money I saved up to get them. This is the wrapping, guys, so you guys can see. So you know, somebody has some, and they legit. This is what they look like inside, guys. Fold them back. Ooh, ah, these are nice. Oh, these are fresh. All right, let's, let's take them both out the box, guys. All right, nothing else in there. Just sit them right there. I will not be rocking these until the Wonder Woman premiere, but this is what I bought. So I'm looking at them. It's my first time seeing them, guys. I saw them on the on the uh, you know the website and everything like that, and I wanted to buy them. Um, they have like this keychain part, you know. You get on the retro, nice nice little rubber right here. Let's take a look at them, guys. I basically break down detail on everything like that. Um, take that out. Um, they smell beautiful. It smells. Oh, I just smell. I love the way new sneakers smell, y'all. Y'all don't, man. It's like it's new. Oh, they smell great. Um, I like these. These are fresh. These are really fresh. So you guys can see it has the webbing right here, like the net. It has like the net right there. Nice and comfortable. You can feel it. It's gonna snug my feet perfect. The leather feels good. The leather looks worn, but it looks right. You know what I mean? Like it looks like the shoes have been worn, and I guess that gives it its its the softness of the leather. It's not hard leather. So it looks really nice. The bottom of it is clean. It looks like it's made right. It's solid inside, man. Uh, man. See, they they kept the uh, all that paper inside to keep them formed up. The tongue is really wide. Like I like them. I like my tongues wide because it allows you to wear multiple types of pants. When you have like those little tongues and they sink in and you got like baggy pants, you can't see it, you can't put it over. Like this is good because you're able to actually see the Air Jordan sign, which I love to rock on my shoes. I love people to see the type of shoes that I'm wearing. Uh, yeah, this is good. Like it was a little worn out right here though, but it's still fresh. Nice, clean white. It got like silver inside. You can guys can see that, like the silverness. The silverness. It has the word pier and then a money sign inside like there. You guys see that? These are good shoes right here, guys. These are good shoes. I'm 
Okay, I see something I don't like. All right, so basically, I wish they had made this like metal or some type of aluminum or something like that because it's plastic and I feel like it's gonna probably change colors faster than the white starts to get, you know, dull and, and, and brown and shit. So I don't like that. You guys see it? It's like, it's plastic, so you gotta watch out for that. But these look, these look solid, these look solid. Mm. They feel right though. I'm gonna just, I want to put on my feet. I want to put on my feet now. So you just look at them. All right. This is gonna be fresh. All right. So let's try them on, guys. Ah, oh, they feel great. They smell good too, man. I love the way new sneakers smell, especially Jordans. Oh, they feel great, guys. That's what they look like. You guys see the Jordan symbol from behind? I'm actually bending my, my feet, so you know some people don't bend their feet when they walk. So this is a good thing right here. Feels real good, real snug. I just wish, you know, I really wish this was gold. I wish that was gold. If that was gold, oh, it'd be perfect. All right, Team J3, let's go ahead and review these Retro 4 Pure Monies right here. And how I'm gonna review it though, I'm gonna break it down into five different categories. I got style, comfort, wearable, price point, and overall total. So let's get into the style of these shoes. Personally, on um, J3's top three Jordans of all time, uh, the Retro 4s come in third place. I love these shoes because to me, they personally scream retro, y'all. Like the net right here on the side, the front, the fat tongue with the Jordan symbol, the Jordan symbol in the back. You can rock these shoes with shorts. You can rock them with joggers, sweats, sweats if they're not windbreakers, because that kind of look funny. But you can really rock these as long as that symbol shows in the back and that tongue sits in the front. These shoes are dope. I love every bit of it. You don't want to hide these shoes. These shoes, the style of these shoes scream, let me just be solo. Just show your leg in the shoe. Perfect shoe. I love these shoes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this shoe a four out of five in style. Comfort, I have narrow feet. So when I put these shoes on, the width of the shoe is solid. So my feet sits in the middle. I don't have to worry about tipping over. Like if you have to kind of move over, if you want to break and run, you can kind of run in these shoes, but you can't run long. Just because the longevity of these shoes feels like my feet are going to hurt. Uh, if you stand these shoes too long, just due to the rubber being thick and hard, uh, you're going to eventually start feeling pain in your feet. Uh, the support of it, it yes, it, it, it supports the foot, but it's just this rubber is too hard. So I feel like you can last at least five hours, five to seven hours wearing these shoes before your feet starts to hurt. And it's going to start hurting right in between where the two type of rubbers come in. Uh, like you have the front, the front rubber right here and then the back. So right here is where I feel like it's going to start hurting the foot the most. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give that comfort a three out of five. Uh, wearables. Just because these are all white shoes, if they were black and stuff, you probably get more out of it. But because it's all white, um, it's going to start getting dirty. Uh, the threads inside is going to get black. Uh, the threads on the side, on the design, is going to start getting black. This right here is going to start getting yellow. Uh, you're going to have to over repaint this a lot if you want to keep wearing them because it's going to start getting yellow, guys. Uh, and they're going to look ugly after that. They're going to start looking like laundromat shoes that you just wear to go clean your, clean your clothes. And this silver, because it's not metal, the paint's gonna start chipping off and it's gonna start looking bad. So also in the back, the back might not get that bad, but it will get scuffed for some weird reason because Jordans like to get scuffed. I swear you can be flying and they're still gonna get scuffed. 
So wearable, I'm gonna give it a two because it is white. If it was a different color, you'll probably get at least four, but because it's white, you're gonna get a two on that. Uh, price point, I have to say, I feel like it was too much. I do enjoy the retro style, but the price point 190 and plus tax, you're about two something. I think it's really, it's too much money. This shoe should have been between 120 and 150. And we're talking about Jordan standards because I think honestly no shoe should be over 100 bucks. But we're talking about Jordan. So 120, between 120 and 150, the price point is going to go and get a three for me. Overall total, this shoe is a solid three. This shoe is in the middle. So if you have the money, it's okay. Go ahead and buy the shoe. Go ahead and rock it for a couple days. You can, you can afford to invest in that. If you don't have the money, don't worry about it. This is not an investment you want to take because you're not going to be able to wear them. You're not going to be able to really enjoy them. You spend $200 on some shoes and you can't even rock them more than 10 times. That's a problem on that note if you don't have the money. Now, personally, I bought the shoes, like I said before, I bought the shoes for the Wonder Woman premiere on June 2nd because I, you know, if you know J3, you know when, when DC does their movies, J3 wears that DC stuff. So I get, I get it popping with my clothing. I want to be DC. I also do with Marvel, but not as much. DC, I gotta be DC. So I bought these and I also got this shirt a while back when I found out the movie was coming out and stuff. So basically I'm gonna be rocking this shirt with these shoes. So I went, I, I basically gotta make sure I look fresh for that Wonder Woman premiere because this is the first time we get a Wonder Woman film. And I wanna be remembered when I go up to the theater. Now with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the review on the on the uh, retro fours. Um, I like I said before, I'm not a sneakerhead, so don't expect me to do this a lot. But if I do buy some shoes, I will review them on J3 Entertainment. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and thumbs up the video. Subscribe to J3 Entertainment if you want other content. If you enjoy the shoe content, write in the comments down below. Tell me what's up. Maybe I'll start buying a little bit more. But like I said, I'm not going to make this a permanent thing because it's not a shoe channel. This is just J3 Entertainment because I like to just do J3 things. Uh, also, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Most likely Twitter. That's where you can find me. I'm usually there, guys. That's that. That's my that's my safe haven right now. Uh, write in the comments down below what you thought about the shoes. If you're going to go ahead and buy these shoes or are you looking forward to a pair of Jordans or any other type of shoes, write in the comments down below. Let me know where you guys stand. Uh, also, what else I got? I have a P.O. box uh, link down below if you guys want to send something to J3, a letter, note, whatever. You guys can send something you want me to read out to you guys and answer a question. You can find that right there. And I also have a Patreon account if you guys want to go ahead and donate to J3 Entertainment and support the channel, support the movement of the realness, and keep us going every day. That's how we do it, guys. Uh, I'm done. J3 out.